Hello everyone. Well, one of your favorite content on our channel is building a shallow tank. So we're gonna revisit that topic. I've actually never done this. I've never had such a tank. So yeah, it's gonna be new for me. I'm gonna try to keep it low cost-ish. So it's gonna be a no CO2, simple filtration, um, easy plant, but a lot of plants. And let's get to it. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. These days you guys see a lot of improv videos by me and uh, again I wasn't supposed to build this tank I think it was supposed to be built by Balaj but uh, here I am filling in so we're gonna figure this out all together I'm gonna use iron wood that's for sure this is not the hardscape this is just a few pieces to well not to have an empty tank while I talk and I'm sure I'm gonna use the Filter Smart 60 by Oase as filtration. I'm gonna fill it with Matrix just to be sure. I'm not really decided about the light yet because I want to see how the hardscape evolves. Uh, with shallow tanks, we try to build just as much outside the tank as inside the tank. So that's gonna limit my uh, light choice, what I can actually fit on the top of the aquarium. I'm thinking sand in the foreground, probably Colorado sand, uh, which has the warmer tone of the ADA scent, which matches the, uh, the iron wood really well. A lot of these aquatic plants have a very, very different look when they are grown outside of water. And a lot of them actually have really nice flowers, which you don't see when they are grown submerged. So yeah, that's gonna be a bit new. I'm not really sure how many of these plants I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna tell about them now because I've selected a lot and uh, probably not gonna end up using all of them. Let's just build a hardscape first. If you have an idea, you don't have to stick with it. If it doesn't work out, just take everything out, start all over. Probably it's gonna be better. A lot of you guys actually requested me building a tank with wood only. What I'm gonna try to do now is actually glue the wood pieces onto the glass uh, with the regular paper towel and super glue method just to make sure that first of all they don't move and second of all they don't float when we when we fill the tank. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. We've never done this. What I'm trying to do before gluing the wood to the glass itself, I'm actually creating two pieces to move together. So actually this one is already done. It's three separate pieces of wood glued together so I can lift them out together and later on glue them together to the glass. I'm doing the same stuff on the left side. Well, guys, this is not going anywhere. I want to cover the soil. I don't want to see it from the front. I want a clean sandy front and only use the soil for the plants. 
I'm going to start off with the bits that you can see from the front. So I have a few Anubiases and uh, a few bits of Flanders. Those are going to go to the wood pieces and then we're going to work on the back side, which is mostly growing out of the tank. I almost forgot. We have the capsules for the ADA Amazonia version 2. So I'm just going to pop in a few pieces of this. I've prepared some Anubias Nana Bonsai, some Nana Pinto, which is the whitish leaved Anubias. We don't really use this and I quite like the color. Why not? And then some Butzefalandra Kedagang. So these are potted plants. I started with this. I'm going to put them in and see how much more I need. We have some leftovers. This is the Brazilianzis carpet from the 650 in the showroom. We just took it apart last week. We've saved the plants for occasions like this. It's basically the same replanting a carpet as if you would get it in vitro right now. You just take it apart to small pieces and put it in the soil. It has bigger roots, obviously, than an in vitro version. So it's a bit more difficult to use. If you like what we do here at Green Aqua, please hit the subscribe button. Staurogen repens. It's better to do this under some running water. It's much easier to clean. I'm gonna put these in a height where they can quickly grow out of the tank and start blooming. The next one is the Eriocaulon cinereum or Polaris or I'm not sure how many names it has. Ah, it's a liquid one. It's much easier to deal with. It's gonna sort of look like a carpet, but then these bushes are gonna start to grow. It's gonna have these weird sticks growing out on top through the water surface out in the open then have some flowers on there, but the flowers are just basically these like balls. We have some Utricularia, which I'm gonna use in the immersed part. So it's not even going underwater. Balash tried this in the walk around tank in the showroom. Actually, this one. We have these grown on the dragon stones outside the water and it's beautiful. I know it doesn't look too nice, in here at the moment but believe me it's gonna look great on the left side we're gonna have some Ludwigia palustri super red actually when it comes out of the water it's gonna start to run down the side usually that's what it does it's gonna have some reddish tint but it's not as red uh, in the immersed form as it is when it's underwater. We have some Pogostamon erectus, which has the nicest flowers I've seen in any aquatic plant. I love how it looks above water. We're gonna put in, I have some photos of the flowers, so we're gonna show you here on the video because it's gonna take months before these plants gonna actually have flowers. I've decided I'm gonna try to use the Chihiro's 601A2. I'm still at the cost saving phase, sort of, 
and actually you can twist the light on its legs if I remember correctly which means I'm gonna be able to put on the light not just directly but a bit twisted to the back because I don't really have any plants in the very front so I'm gonna need more light for the plants in the back side it covers half of the hardscape seemed like a good idea but it wasn't this one would actually need light pending from above but we're gonna put it in a place where we can't really do that because i don't think we're gonna keep this aquarium for too long i think someone will buy this tank and then they can actually fit it with a pendant light that's gonna look much much nicer This is so weird, I can't really describe it. Why would you use a hang-on like filter, not as a hang-on, but with tubes coming out of it? Why would I want it to be this far from the glass? Why is this so long? What I'm gonna do is ditch the factory Oase suction cups and get some smaller ones. It's not the most elegant way of doing this, but I was trying to avoid the expensive glassware in this build. Oh, this is gold. I have basically a lily pipe, sort of. We're gonna fill up the tank now, put it in its place and have it running at least for a few weeks. So yeah, you're gonna see it later on. I'm not sure about the fish yet. I'm thinking better, but who knows? You're gonna see it in a few seconds. So this is my idea of a shallow tank. If you liked it, then please like it. Oh, that sounds cheesy, doesn't it? Um, and yeah, let's see you next week. Goodbye. Next week on Green Aqua, the beautiful world of aquascaping, the ultimate relaxation, or she builds a nice nano-planted tank.